What's up, nerds? Today's review, we're going to review the Fantastic Four Invisible Woman, the one everybody has been crapping on. And of course, we're gonna compare it to the actual retro Invisible Woman from back in the day. What's up, guys? I'm Dira. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. First of all, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a video and give this video a big thumbs up too. And also leave a comment below telling me what do you think about this figure we're about to review. Before we get started guys, I just want to tell you guys that I want to do a giveaway once I hit a thousand subscribers. So if you're new or if you're just joining me, hit that subscribe button. Help me get to 1000 subscribers so I can do another giveaway. So all right, so again, I already showed you guys here the back. It tells you how to do the figure, just like uh, on the new one. It tells you how to swap them out, how it goes. Little description in the back. It tells you there's more figures to collect them all from Iron Man and from the Fantastic Four. Same design, same card, same colors and everything. The only thing that's different, again, is the shininess on the logo of the four. And this card is much thicker than this one. This one easily bent and brand new. 10 bucks here we go we're gonna open them again if you are an inbox collector i'm so sorry but i am about to rip open this there you go it comes in a blue mm -hmm. it comes in a blue packaging which is pretty cool and she's all translucent oh it's kind of gummy feeling i don't know if it's because it's old it feels sticky but we'll see right now it feels it feels very sticky there you go, we got a shield here. All right, so check it out. Here we have the figure itself. It look, it's very uh, transparent. It feels gummy-ish, it feels sticky. I don't know if it feels sticky because it was in the box for a while or what, but it feels very sticky. You could even hear it when I move it, it like the stickiness. Can move her head around because of her hair, but she's able to move. You see the joints everywhere. So she has to kick that high up. She moves that way and that way, bam. Good, good, cool, cool figure, cool figure. This is Toy Biz from 1995. 1995 Toy Biz still has it right there. If you can see it, bam. All right, so, okay, it has wheels. This thing has wheels, so I guess so she could roll around on it. Pretty cool. And of course she has a little stance right here so you could put her feet in there. And again, the wheels here in the back, see? There's wheels. So you just put them in there now. Right, so I had to push it all the way inside in here because uh, it has a little like a little gap so it could go in. So I had to push her all the way inside so she could stand otherwise she'll fall. But this is how she looks on her little stand with wheels. And of course she has her shield here. I'm probably going to wipe it down with like a Clorox wipe or a wipe just to take off that stickiness it has. And there you go with her shield. Pretty cool, I like it for ha having a Toy Biz figure. Awesome, awesome. And I am able to display her with my other ones. Let's see how horrible this figure really is. I just... So we get her little force field and we get two of her fist hands really, really tiny. Talking about really tiny. And here is the Invisible Woman with the original uh, Fantastic Four uh, uniform. Very flexible. Oh, the posing on this is pretty awesome. Okay, so of course it's it's a female character. She only has single jointed elbows. Here, in this way too. I see. I I can I can see what people were really frustrated with this figure. Check it. Look at her face. Check it right there. Uh, judge it for yourself. Tell me in the comments below. What do you guys think of this face? Do you guys like it? Do you guys hate it? Uh, looking into here on the little monitor I have, uh, it kind of looks weird. I get it, and it looks nothing, nothing like the one in the cart. So that head sculpt from the cart would have looked way better on her. But check it out, guys. I seen people swap her head off with different uh, female figures, so it's pretty cool. So let's see. You could turn her head around. Uh, I might, I might chip her shoulders. See. When I turn it right here, look at right there in her shoulder. It's about a, right there. See how it's just gonna start chipping? 
Now, this is what I like about the figures. The thing that uh, they did a very great job with it. This one, very cheap. If I press, it's gonna chip it off. So yeah, you have to be careful when you move it. See, I already chipped off her shoulder. That's what that's what sucks when when you try to move these figures around. Her shoulder gets chipped off. She's able to move back that much and then forward, forward that much. She's able to look. Let me see. She oh, cause her hair, her hair got in the way. Isn't able to move up because of the hair, but look down that much before her head pops up. Since hers about to pop up this much, that's much and move down. Then of course she has her torso movement, which is already gonna start chipping as well. See, it started chipping right there. Horrible. Knee that high. She has good flexibility for the pulses. Check it. Good flexibility. It would open that much good flexibility uh, her ankles move down that much and then you're able to move them up that much overall the figure itself is pretty cool uh, the only thing yeah I, I I can see it now it's her face it's her face um, just having it in here now is like okay WTF so she stands right wait wait oh crap so she stands right under six inches tall so this one with the stand it's right at five inches so you guys see the difference right there now and then we're gonna put her next to the thing which the thing is right under seven inches and she is right under six so pretty huge difference awesome what can i say let me see let me move her hands Let's see if it looks Oh, I still have to put her shield. So in order to put her four shield, there's a little opening here, which uh, her hand's gonna go, either hand that you want. So it's just gonna go in there. It's gonna go in like that, right here. It has a little hole in there to go. So there, as you guys can see it from the back, um, her fingers had to go in through that little gaping hole, so she has the force field there. So. It looks pretty cool. Now this head is too small to put on this one. But yeah, I mean, okay, it's it's all right. Just to complete the wave, I guess. But yeah, there you go. The comparison of these two, this one has a smaller shield. I like this shield, of course, better than this one, definitely. I like this, this head sculpt way better than this one. Tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of these two? What are your thoughts on that Sue Storm? She ugly, you're not gonna get her, you're gonna skip it, or you're gonna do that joke where you're like, oh, I do have it, it's Invisible Woman, and you have nothing because she's invisible, you get it? See that joke every damn day. Figures from that Retro Wave collection, pretty awesome. This one so far is my favorite one, and this one is my least favorite one so far. We're gonna see the other ones as I keep doing them. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Give this video a big thumbs up. Remember, if you are new, subscribe to my channel. Help me grow and I'll give back to the community. So remember, out of thousand subscribers, I'm a 920 something uh, subscribers. I need to get to a thousand so I can start making money, you know, and start giving out free shit. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.